we just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about Hi, hello, loves. This is Yuli. <laughs> Together snapshot where we take a snapshot of amazing business owners in our midst. So we learn about their companies, we learn about their merchandise, and we learn about their strategies so that we can hopefully imitate them if we ourselves would like to start a business of our own. And today's business teacher is Nisi. <laughs> now, Nisi runs two businesses. She runs Special Occasion Haven, correct? And then there's also W Jewels Creation. Is that the correct name? Beautiful. So we're looking forward to learning about both of those. So we'll just go ahead and get started and ask you. So tell us, tell us about your businesses and and what made you come up with these two ideas. Okay. So originally I started with um, W Jewels, <laughs> um, but that was way back when <laughs> when I was so naive. And <laughs> anyway, um, I just started by just creating items with my daughter. And we oh. used to get jewelry when we were gonna go to some event or something together. And that was just what we did. And that, that's how I started. And then uh, a friend of mine came over and she had a brick and mortar store. And she said, put your stuff in my shop. Oh. And so that, that's how I started doing jewelry in business. <laughs> I love it. So you and your daughter create the items together? Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you got started though yeah yeah yes only when she was you know yeah living with me she, yeah. yeah so how long have you been running these two businesses um i i started um the the w jewels one um probably back in 2016 when all that happened and then i started the etsy shop part of it oh. in 2018 and then as i went through all the process <laughs> and uh, expanded and expanded. <laughs> <laughs> I started um, with a special occasion haven in 2021. Oh, I love it. So now what type of products does each business sell? So um, the W Jewels creation um, shop is more for just casual um, items, jewelries for, um, women men and children oh. um so you'll find men jewelry like necklaces bracelets um uh what else is on there tie chains tie bars so forth and oh, um also bracelets and stuff for the kids and also accessories like um antenna balls and scarves oh wow that's creative yeah, and pet bandanas. I heard you have a chihuahua. I got a bandana for him. I'll be checking out. I'll be checking out your site. <laughs> she she needs a little bandana. <laughs> Maybe that'll be your uh, just a gift. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so with the special occasion one, I got a little bit fancy with that one. So that one has a little more um up scale I, I like to think it's a more scale I don't know it might not be in your opinion but I have like um, um gloves you might wear to special events like a wedding or some other occasion um uh, also like um lapels yes um I have a I had a few veils on there and things like that I've seen some of your lapels um or the boutonnieres types of pants now do you make those as well yes I do. Wow, that's creative. Because I've seen some that have been really nice and I've been very tempted. Because, But my problem is I don't stop at one. So I have to really control myself because I like okay. everything. <laughs> so it's okay. You can get it in bundles for a bundle deal. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Talk off, off screen. About that. <laughs> okay. That's I, awesome. I, I, so now the name of your business is interesting. W Jewels. Does that um is that an acronym for anything? The W. The W is my last name, Morley. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. I love that. Oh, I love that. That makes it really, really unique. That is beautiful. So in in doing this, has there in starting any business? Um, any type of business we get started in, there's going to be challenges in, in trying to get things up and running and learning the ropes. And, you know, there's just so much involved. And we have people that will be watching that 
want to start a business. We have a few people that are already have a business and they're looking on how to expand it. But what type of challenges did you face in getting your business started? I love this question. <laughs> There's so many challenges in business. Yeah. But I said before that I started with the brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. and that was a wonder experience because I started with a friend and she was very casual with me <laughs> so I we we're still friends and all but um going from that to with brick and mortar stores I don't know if you've ever had any items in the brick and mortar they want a lot of your money <laughs> oh really yeah. so my items if you've ever been on my site they don't cost that much so <laughs> you're taking 50 percent of my money <laughs> It's like not worth it. So, a lot. so yeah, I had to leave that idea. I have to say that my friend was not asking for that. It was yeah. her, you know, the others that were working there that was asking Company. for that. Yeah. So that's one one challenge. Um, so going from that, I went to Etsy, but online is another big challenge, as you know, is just constantly trying to be seen um, being in jewelry or any I guess any accessories or anything it's it's bombarded online is just everywhere yeah um, so to show yourself and be seen that that's very hard yeah <laughs> that is the thing about a business nowadays everything is social media related so whether we like social media or not it's like if you have a business we're forced on there, you know, we're forced to make a social media page and to post. It's a part of the marketing and advertising. So that can be trying. That 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 can get exhausting. It's a job in itself. <laughs> which which you're which, out there, girl, though. You're everywhere. I see you no, on Facebook. No, you're no. On, you, no, yeah, you're YouTube, Facebook, no. <laughs> Instagram. And I, there's probably other ones that I don't know about, right? <laughs> no, this is all about Nisi. <laughs> She said, I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, this is all about DC <laughs> and her amazing business. No. But you know, it, it, it does have challenges rate, um, running a business, but there's also some fun stuff too. You know, what's fun for you? What are some of your favorite aspects of being able to run your two businesses? Um, what's fun is being able to meet friends like you, like over the years. Uh -huh. I mean, you gain Instagram friends or Facebook friends, but then being able to like do things like this. And yeah not have a boss or someone saying oh no you can't collaborate with that person you can't do that like you know um or just cho choosing your own hours choosing you know what to create whatever i want to create those things are are just fun that yeah you can't put a price tag on that <laughs> yeah and i i've been loving meeting individuals like yourself you know it, it's just been it's been great it's been a great opportunity I, and i i love that i finally get a chance to meet you via zoom but still i got an opportunity to meet you. So I, love it. I absolutely love it so you so you've been in business a few years now um what do you see as far as in the future do you have any future goals for your business or things you would like to do um, I think, you know, since the pandemic, I've been, you know, not doing as many events. And so I'm hoping to be able to get out there more this year and do more events, but um, <clears throat> doing more interviews like this and so forth has been, um, a, you know, beautiful thing. So I hope to do more of those and just get seen more. I like that. Yeah. Just, just put yourself out there. Yeah. And get seen more. Well, you're doing a great job with it. I, I've seen you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I've been <laughs> Yes, I've seen you, girl. <laughs> now, if I wanted to go purchase something today, how would I go about making a purchase um, with Special Occasion Haven or with um, W Jewels Creation? Yeah, so you can either go straight to the shop, the Etsy shop under those names or... Um, <laughs> that way um, but don't forget to favorite an item or favorite my shop and you'll get a discount but also um you if you've seen something on instagram or facebook you can dm me and we can go through paypal or venmo or um, cash app as well oh now that's important to know the payment options so you accept paypal cash app and venmo yes beautiful and everyone has paypal <laughs> 
And yeah. now everyone has Dash app, like my grandson does. <laughs> so, so. You tell your grandson, yeah. <laughs> and I got some for him too. <laughs> you have some um, boot beers and some lap the lapels. <laughs> I'll tell him to check it out. You have men items as well. So that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. So we'll definitely be checking that out. So again, there's many people that are trying to start their business and a lot of people, they have ideas, but they might be a little hesitant. They may, may be a little afraid. Um, do you have any tips for them? You know, any, any advice that you could give them? Yeah. Um, so I would say just start. I have so many, <laughs> I have friends that say, have been saying for years, I need to do that. I need to get on there. I need to start this or that on Etsy or whatever on IG. And they still haven't done it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One day you will do it, I guess. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just do it. And then you'll just pick up all the tips and tricks along the way. I mean, it's going to be a learning process and, a, and it's going to be an endurance process the whole way. I mean, I'm sure for you, even it's like you're still learning. You're still doing, you know, learning new tricks all the way through it. So just start and then you'll keep jumping over the hurdles. <laughs> we'll get through it together, right? Find some yes. new friends. I like that. That's good advice. Just, you know, we're constantly learning. So we will never get to the point where, oh, I got it all and I know how to run this business and <laughs> I need no more advice. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I want all the advice I can get right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, that you're definitely providing some good advice. So we, we really, really appreciate that. So if we want to make a purchase, we can go to Etsy and then we can do a search for a special occasion haven. And then we can also do a search for W Jewels Creation, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll go and find the links for both of those pages and we'll put it in the comment section down below so that individuals can just, when they're watching this video, they can just click on there and go straight to your page. So we'll make it easy for everyone. If you're in Davis, I can also do square in person. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Is that Davis, California? Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Oh, that's good to know. So you are very, actually, you're very close to me as well. I'm in Elk Grove. So we're, we're neighbors. <laughs> so yes. that's, that's, yes. good, that's good to know. So in person, you can do square and just purchase items that way. Correct? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. So go check out Nisi's items. Go ahead and scroll through and search and find out what you like. You can buy it directly through Etsy, she'll pack it up beautifully and get it shipped out to you. Or if you live in Davis, send her a message and she can meet you somewhere at the college or <laughs> you can meet at UC Davis or you can meet, <laughs> you can make arrangements for that. So that's beautiful to know exactly how we can do that. So we really want to thank you, Nisi, for your time because we um, we really learned a lot. And if you have not seen her items again, I suggest that you please go take a look at them because they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the fact that you create these designs yourself, I, I mean, that's a talent. That's really a talent. Are you self-taught? That's something else I meant to ask you. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much just look like I'll get inspiration from whatever I see or yeah, just put my own spin on it or whatever. Yeah. So it's just a DNA. It's just <laughs> whatever I, I feel like. I don't have a boss telling me to do this or that. So they said, make this. No, I'm making whatever I want. <laughs> oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. I really admire individuals like yourself that are just so creative. I don't have a creative bone in my body. So when I find, oh. when I see individuals like you that you can just, you know, think of things and create it. I mean, that's really a talent. That's a beautiful talent. And so that's something to be. This is a talent that you have. Like you're able to do, you're, you're more of a spokesperson than you're, you can, you're the face behind us. <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> you're so kind. <laughs> we want to boost you up. We want everyone to know about you. So we, we want, we're going to try to let as many people as possible know about Nisi and Special oh. Occasion Haven and W Jewels Creation. Because if you have not seen her items, you're missing out. So we really suggest that you take a look at it. So again, this was Nisi and Yuli, and we're with Better Together Snapshot, where we take a snapshot 
of amazing business owners. And we truly thank you for your time, Nisi. We know that time is very valuable. So to give us these, mo these, these moments of your time to tell us more about your brand and to give us advice on what we can do in our own business, it, it's valuable. So we really, really appreciate it and it's priceless. So thank you for your time. We really appreciate you. Thank you. So we look forward to um, learning more in the future and we look forward to having you all check out her brand. And as always, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much, Luz, for joining us. Take care. Can we just talk? Can we just talk?